Let me show you one of Python's sneakiest traps. Let's start here. We'll create a simple list, one, two, three, and we'll assign it to a variable A. Nothing suspicious, yet. Now we print it. Cool. Looks just like we'd expect, A equals one, two, three. Now, here comes the trap. Let's assign A to a new variable, B. At first glance, you might think we're just making a copy of A, but we didn't. Let's tweak B and see what happens. We'll set B sub zero to 99, so it's different from our original list. And we'll add a print statement for the B list, and now print both lists. Wait, A is 99, two and three? It's the same as B. We only changed B, right? So why did this change too? Here's the thing, in Python, variables don't hold data directly. They hold references, pointers to objects in memory. When you write B equals A, Python doesn't copy the list, it just makes B point to the same thing that A was pointing to. So this is important, no new list is created. Both A and B are just labels for the same object. All right, so you don't believe me, I can prove it. Let's comment out both print statements and print the ID of A and B. So ID is a function that returns the memory address where the object is stored. Let's run the code and same ID, so same memory location. If you wanna actually copy a list, meaning you wanna make B independent of A, you need to explicitly copy it. All right, so how do we actually copy a list? Let's rewind and try something different. This time we'll create a list A, just like we did before, and assign it one, two, three, but instead of B equals A, we'll do this. So what's that little bracket colon thing? It means slice the entire list and give us a shallow copy. Now let's test it. We'll change B sub zero again, we'll set it to 99, and add print statements for both A and B, and let's run that. Check it out, A stayed the same and only B changed, success. You can also use the copy method if you wanna get more explicit. Same idea, now A and B are two separate lists. Want to double check? Let's use the ID function again and run it. Different memory locations this time. So yeah, Python assignment doesn't copy. You have to ask for a copy. And if you ever get burned on this, you're not alone. I've got a whole other video on Python hidden behaviors just like this. Check it out next if you want to avoid more sneaky traps. And hey, if this helped you dodge a bug, drop a comment and let me know what your favorite Python gotcha is.